Hi, welcome to The Law Simplified. I'm Shaveen Bandar Nayakar. You might be someone who's coming from a legal background. You might have family or friends in the legal fraternity. You might have made a visit when you were young uh, to a court of law and have been emboldened or impassioned by what you've seen. You might have watched something on TV, for example, or seen some shows online that dramatize uh, the legal profession and what a lawyer is capable of doing. Whichever reason it might be, law is as much a lucrative as it is a rewarding as well as exciting career path. But what most students fail to understand at the very outset, before even thinking about leaping into law, is how nuanced and how important it is to understand how to approach the subject academically and then vocationally. What I mean by this is the one thing that you need to consider before you enter into the legal profession, before you even think of studying a law degree, is to find your niche. What do I mean by this? Quite simply, many students approach this subject as simply thinking that I'm going to do law. But at the very outset, if you are unaware of the different segments or different sectors that you can get into, it's very difficult for you to identify what you'll need to do academically to achieve your goals professionally later on in your career. There are many occasions where students approach me either in the second or third year or worse still, soon after their degree as they're about to start uh, their professional career not having done the requisite or the required modules to differentiate themselves and put themselves above the pack when going into their particular field. That is why at the very outset, it is important to not just think that you're going to enter into the legal profession or that you're going to do law, but exactly what in law that you're going to do. So there are two very easy steps to go through before even thinking about uh, selecting a law degree. The first step is choosing your poison. Now, the whole concept of law is quite nuanced. There are many different sectors and on pretty much a daily basis, a different segment or a different uh, uh, area of law is introduced and there is a niche that's created. But quite simply, at the very outset, there's only two parts that you necessarily need to think of taking. On the one hand, you have criminal, and on the other hand, you have the civil profession or commercial law, essentially. This distinction, this primary diversion of parts is your first stage. You need to understand whether you want to be a defense attorney in criminal matters, or essentially, you want to go through the civil path. The second step, point number two, is if you do choose to go through the civil uh, or the commercial or the corporate aspect of law, your choices are nigh on infinite. There's so many different fragmentations of the civil profession that it really depends on what area that you want to practice in. There are many things that you can do to understand and determine which area you want to go to. Firstly, make a short list of your priorities. What exactly do you want to achieve by getting into the legal profession? Is it A, making money, making it a lucrative career for yourself? Uh, B, something that you enjoy doing, perhaps a passion that you have apart um, from law itself. Or C, simply the notion that you know colleagues and friends in the similar profession and you would like to work with such people. You have others who are coming into that particular thing. Whichever niche or whichever fragmentation that you're thinking of, it is always a good idea to seek guidance from someone who's in that particular fraternity or someone who's aware of it. Check out some of the links in the description below or you can also look at the card that's going to appear right now on this video or at the end screen as well to get in touch with me so that we can discuss and you can consult me on exactly what path is most appropriate based on your strengths and or weaknesses. Finally, understand that just because you feel that you want to pursue a particular type of a legal profession or to fragment yourself or establish yourself in a particular niche, you need to think of circumstances surrounding that niche as well. 
it's always fundamental to understand that when you go into the profession, when you go into your vocation, that that particular chamber or that particular firm, or even if you're going out on your own, it is important to supplement whatever you've learned with something that will differentiate you from everyone else. This will, for example, be based on the optional modules, for instance, that you will take in your LLB, but in some occasions, to also move on to an LLM or a postgraduate qualification that will take you above and beyond that of another candidate. This is the fundamental step. This is the foundation before you even think of getting yourself into law or getting to do a law degree. Now, after this stage, there are countless other techniques that you need to employ in order to find out what the best university is, um, how best you need to select optional modules and so on. And I'll be happy to help once you get in touch with me through the links below. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give a thumbs up. And if you wish to receive more videos of this caliber uh, in terms of guidance academically as well as in your professional career, make sure you subscribe to The Law Simplified. I've launched a brand new website, thelawsimplified.com. Make sure you go and subscribe to the newsletter as well as many other rich content in terms of your studies, your academics and career guidance. But until the next time that we meet, have fun, stay safe and obey the law.